that's the poll out at the moment, isn't oh, it? Oh, yes. There's a poll out today that says, actually, Brits are least likely mm. to get naked on the beach. I can understand that. I think Brits... And also poolside as well. We really struggle with that etiquette yeah, no, because we, we weren't really dragged I've got, up I've in got that chicken, environment. I've got chicken legs. I don't want to scare people with, you know, I can't do that. What about you? Are you sort of... <laughs> well, you know, I'm going to show you. Check you, check you yeah. out. So, <laughs> who, who do you think are the most likely to get their kits off on the beach? It's got to be Scandinavians or the Germans. Germans. Actually, Spaniards, you, you, you'd is think, it? Yeah, you'd think it was God. the Germans. They're, they're, they're quite high up, but it's actually the Spaniards, apparently. 61% really? of the Spaniards yes. have said that they would take their kit off. Only 20% of Brits said they would go naked. Germans, 49% they would go naked. That's still quite a hefty number. I'm surprised 20% yeah. of Brits say they would go naked. Oh. Have you, didn't you? What happened? Well, yeah, well, I was actually funny in Mallorca, stayed at a hotel, walked down to the... Uh, <laughs> Local beach. I actually cycled down to the beach and then taking a little stroll. Got my headphones on, staring out to sea. <laughs> and you know, you just got to get lost in your own world. <laughs> you get lost. <laughs> <laughs> you got lost. Suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, I look around onto the onto the sort of the, the, the beach side, and people haven't got their clothes on, and it was very awkward. Yeah. Okay. And then I can't say too much, but then there were and people might know Why this can't area. Say too much? Well, there were, there were on these rocks in the middle of the beach. There were <laughs> arrows pointing to behind the bushes. Come this way. <laughs> For certain activity. <laughs> what sort of beach? So I went in, had a great time. I checked in for a couple of weeks. No, no, no. So I went back to the hotel and I walked back into the reception and the receptionist just looked at me, could see my face as I know where you've been. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he had stumbled across but it. I just find, well, so we were in Cape Verde, Sean and I, uh, a few weeks ago. Well, whenever it was during the holidays. And there was a woman who, were, there's a lot of Portuguese go there, so former Portuguese colony. And we were actually in the hotel round the pool. And this woman completely just let everything out. Mm. And, you know, and you're just like, oh, I don't know what to do now. And she was, like, right there, was smoking Was she the away. waitress or was she... Work? No, no, no. no. <laughs> she, was, she was the husband. But my little boy... Walked into Hooters or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you took your son to Henderson. <laughs> well, I'm getting him started sorry. early. <laughs> um, yeah. but, no, but he sat there, and honestly, he's, he's going to be seven inches like, and he just sat there and he just stared. And I was like, don't stare. He was like, but why has she not got a phone? <laughs> like, How do you, yeah. you explain that um, one, in all seriousness? How do I you explain said, that? I actually said, well, I don't think she shouldn't... I don't think she should be dressed like that here or undressed. Most people do it on the beach and just that's her decision. But so, so top and bottoms. I don't agree so, with it. She actually. had bottoms on. She had, she had kid bottoms kid. on, but nothing else. I, I think they're very odd. Um attitudes towards nudity here. Well, you think we're too prudish. I should have been all right yeah. with that, do you think? I'm actually naked below. <laughs> <laughs> we're all naked under our clothes, Richard. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Well, Did you uh, find it in Brighton as well, weren't you just saying? Yeah, I was Brighton I was in still. Brighton a couple of weekends ago. You and... accidentally got lost again. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you drift off this listening to your own thing. podcast. <laughs> 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 one o'clock in the afternoon, this was. One o'clock in the afternoon. Now, I didn't realise how big Brighton uh, is for, for Hindus, uh, in p particularly. So a group of girls came onto the beach, Pebble Beach, we just sat having a watch them, thought they look a bit bizarre. They went into the water, putting their feet in the water, that's OK. Next thing, about five minutes later, look, they've all got their, well, not all of them, most of them had their kit off in the beach, in the sea. At one o'clock in the afternoon, <laughs> I tell you, what is this country coming to? And you stayed and watched. I had a lovely coffee. Uh, yeah, right. really another slow. coffee. Uh, I love yeah, a bit yeah. of Brighton Rock. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and, and talking about voting and everything, I hear that this show is up for a, a bit of an award, isn't it? Yeah. Well, am I doing this as well? I'm exhausted. When Piers <laughs> comes back on Monday, I won't get a word. We are make the most of this, right? Yeah. He may or may not yeah. mention that Trump is coming. <laughs> I don't know. They've met apparently. Um, yes, yeah. we've made the long list for the 2019 TV Choice Awards. Um, nominated very kindly by the team there. It's up to you to make us to the shortlist, though. It's best daytime show, which will come as no surprise. So make sure you get your vote in today. All the details are on our website, www.itv.com forward slash GMBA.